years ago, I felt like no one liked me, and I was one of the wimpiest kids in my class. My wimpiness showed up worst of all during gym class. Don't you just love him? The way he, he makes some double part of a shot? Well, I don't like it, right? I guess everybody cared more about sports than I did. All right, let's move it, guys. Shirts and skins. Darn. School is a never-ending full of problems. Air Jordan, right? Air Jordan, right? That's because he shoots air balls. That's because he misses everything. He's always doing these moves and never hits anything. Dr. J is called Dr. J. He seems the doctor. He's the best. Shirts and skins. I thought I looked like a real nerd. I would worry about every little thing that happened and made things out worse than they were. <laughs> not playing Jim became quite a habit. Hey Henry, how come you're not playing? Seems like you never play Jim. Well, uh, I've got this stomach virus that keeps coming back. My mom said I shouldn't do much, it's going to get worse. Uh, Louise was different from other girls. She would at least talk to me. I was scared to death when I talked to the girls I liked. Stomach virus again, Henry? It's sort of regular, that virus. I guess it's a regular virus, yeah. No, I mean, it happens, like, uh, every time we play basketball. I think we should have you checked out by Dr. Persky. No, I'll be fine. Really, Mr. Richardson? Really? My gym excuse wouldn't work much longer. <laughs> But there are two everybody watches out for. One is Leslie Gerding. Hey, Henry. Oh, uh, yeah? What chapter were we supposed to read for social studies last night? Seven. Right, right. I panicked whenever Leslie said anything to me. It always seemed like she was trying to set me up for something. The other kid in my class who gave me and everybody trouble was Tom Riley. You okay now? Come on, don't let them. He's the meanest kid in the class. But at the same time, he could be as gentle as a lamb with his little sister. You tell those girls, next time they're making fun of you, they're going to have to have a talk with your older brother. He sure is hard to understand. <laughs> particularly dangerous. Hi there, Henry. Um, I have to say parents to the so like What? <laughs> hey there, Henry. How's it going? Sorry for bumping into you like that. Watch this. Hey, hey. Leslie's kind of shy. She wanted me to ask her something. Hiya. Don't you want to know what it is? What time? Leslie wants to go steady with you. Yeah, Henry, be mine. <laughs> Mr. Sloan. Tom, Mr. Sloan's coming. Good morning, everyone. The principal arriving on cue did help things a bit. Our teacher is Mrs. Gilbert. She's all right most of the time and makes class pretty interesting. But I thought that she seemed to be on Tom's side. I felt so uneasy about myself that anything and everything made me feel really bummed out. And worst of all, I sit right behind Tom and Leslie. Okay, come on, settle down. Take out your history books. Did everybody do the reading I assigned last night? Henry, take your regular assigned seat behind Tom. What was the subject of last night's reading assignment? Oh, to finally be home, to mom. <laughs> 
Like most moms, she's always saying the right things, and like most kids, I knew what she said was right, but I never let her know that. Hey, handsome. Hey, Mom. Uh-oh. What's the matter? You know, the same old thing. Tom again? Do you want me to call Mrs. Gilbert about him? No, if he found out, he'd kill me. Mom, what can I do to get people to like me better? Do you like yourself? Well, what do you mean? Just what I said. Do you like you? myself. Good. So do I. In addition to the fact, I love you. And anyone who doesn't know you're a really great guy, well, that's their problem. You're saying that I should just ignore them, like whenever Tom or someone else picks on me. I know it's hard, but yeah. Tom's the one with the problem, not you. Come on. The next day seemed to be a bit brighter and amazingly enough, no one said a word about what Tom and Leslie did to me. It was almost like everybody forgot. Everyone, I want to introduce you to Brian Dirk. His family just moved here and he's going to be joining the class. Tom, be quiet. Yes, he could turn out to be a better day after all. This is a total outrage. I'm going to go to the school of basketball. Oh, by softball. Everybody knew. Softball is nice. You know, you're so great. 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 Henry, what will it be? Softball or the doctor's office? Take me out to the ball game. Hi, you must be Brian. It's nice to have you with us. Hi, Brian. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, I want Larry. Being picked for a team was like plastering everything that was wrong with me up on a billboard. Whenever I did play gym, I was always picked last. I want Dan. We'll take Henry. Oh no, you mean we get the wimp? But for the first time, not today. I don't tolerate name calling, Tom. Let's play ball. I got first. I got right. Finally, it seemed like a 
Rachel wasn't any different than anyone else. Yeah, you need this more than I do. Oh, thanks, Bern. Hey, Henry. Nice going out there. Well, hey, Henry. You're good in science. I've got to do something to improve my grades or else my mom's going to kill me. Hey, if that barn by your house has any barns and stuff, maybe we can go after school. Yeah, sure. We can get a lot of extra points with the stuff we can get. Ow! What's the matter with you? I hurt my leg in the game, I think. Only lips get hurt playing softball. <laughs> hey, Henry! That's a good one! Only wimps get hurt playing softball. Come on, let's be good little wimps alone. Hey, Louise! How come you always hanging around with us? Now, I know what I said to Brian was wrong, but that was buried deep in the back of my mind. I still felt afraid that even though I seemed accepted, everyone would laugh at me again the first chance they got. that Brian gave me, I was too involved with everything that was happening. maturity, but I was about to find another symbol not so sweet. Dinner's ready! Come, Lenny! What's wrong? Are you all right? Nothing's wrong, nothing. That shoelace may have kept making me think about what I did to Brian. But right now, I have more important things to worry about. I had to get a whole mess of frogs to school. Hey, Henry, hurry up. The bus is coming. I thought nothing about bringing my great big fish tank onto the school bus. Yeah, that tank is
myself for wondering what his mood made like. Hey, Tom, is that the home trust your sister has? Yeah, you want to make something of it? I better get her running track today. Really, what a win. Those few words from Tom stung like an angry hornet. I realized that he accepted me because I was becoming just like him. How is he doing? Boy, this is really coming together. to read up on that. but I still didn't like Jim. Hey there, Henry. I hear you're making buddy-buddy with the new wimp. Tom got me in trouble, and he's gonna pay. If you wanna hang out with us guys, you're gonna have to do what I say. Was he bothering you? No, no he wasn't. Okay, guys, on your mark, Get set. When I first started running that track, all I wanted to do was finish. Hey, look! It's a race between Henry and Brian!
Dr. Persky take a look at that. No, I'm fine. Henry lets you in. He can be a loser like you any day. How does it feel to be a wimp and a loser at the same time? If being a loser means not being like you, that's okay with me.